Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and I'm going to do a video on one of the biggest topics in the world right now, but we're going to focus just on the heating and air industry and I'm of course talking about the equality of women versus men. And so when we're talking about the heating and air industry, uh, for the longest time it's been known just like a lot of other trades to be more of a blue collar, dirty a uh, trade, you know, a job where your hands will get dirty. It requires heavy lifting. And because of all that, a lot of times I think women, not only have they been discriminated against by men, but I think in some cases, women have probably asked themselves, is it even worth it? And so I'm here to tell you that in comparison to a lot of other things you can do with your life, especially if you're like me, someone that grew up poor and they didn't go to college for one reason or another, or maybe you didn't finish school or whatever the reason is, but you're not going to be a doctor anytime soon or a lawyer or whatever, right? I think that if you are a lady and you catch this video, I think you should consider the heating and air industry as a profession. And we're going to go through that and why. But I want to first start out by saying that I have employed lots of men and only a few women. And I can tell you just from the get go, and I know I'm going to have guffleness and I don't care. I'm just going to tell you the truth. Women in a lot of cases are smarter than men. <laughs> I know you're not going to like that if you're a man, but I can tell you of course, there's exceptions to every rule. I've met a lot of smart men. I've met a lot of smart women. But when I'm talking about employees and I've hired women, they're better workers. They're smarter. They don't do as much dumb and they think about things that us guys don't think about. And so what I mean by that is sometimes when I'm doing something, I'll even ask one of the ladies that works with us, I'll ask her opinion on it because she might see things from a different angle as a lady than I do as a man. And I think that's important, especially when we're dealing with customers and we're in somewhat of a hospitality type of industry. I consider service businesses, if you're good at it, hospitality and just in a different form. And in, and overall, they're just better employees. For the most part, I can definitely say that with all honesty. Now, do I have some amazing men that work with us? Absolutely. I've got a few men that I'm blessed to even know working with us, much less employ. But I think as a whole, for all of the guys that I've employed, if you factor in not just the amazing ones, but the not so amazing ones, when I've hired women versus men, the women have been per capita better employees. And so today, during the making of this video, we're seeing a labor shortage. We're hopefully coming out of this pandemic that has crippled a lot of folks and their careers. And so folks are starting to kind of get back to work. You know, they're kind of looking around. They're considering things they've never considered before. They've been sitting at home, right? And so because of that, with this labor shortage, I don't necessarily, I know a lot of folks look at it as a bad thing because it's the infrastructure of our country, but from a professional standpoint, I don't necessarily look at it as a horrible thing. I look at the, you know, the upside of that and that being because of supply and demand, heating and air guys and electricians and plumbers and all these things because of the labor shortage are becoming a whole lot more valuable. And I think consumers are seeing that. Uh, we've had customers that, you know, they wonder why certain things cost as much as it does. I think that the industry itself would be a great place for women to excel. During the making of this video, a recent statistic done by the Bureau of Labor and Statistics say that 1.4% of the industry is women. And I think that's such a shame. I'm not saying when you're looking at the HVAC industry that we're just talking about turning wrenches, right? So I'm not just talking about folks that do kind of what we do. We're, we do mostly residential. We go into folks' homes. We're sometimes selling them products. We're also fixing their systems or re replacing them at times. And there's stuff that goes into that, but there's also all kinds of other positions in the industry that you could consider. So of course there's installers, right? And then there's folks that only do service. So they 
only fix them. They're not actually installing them and having to do the heavy lifting as far as that standpoint. I've met ladies that are self-employed, right? So either they inherited the business or they maybe they work with a spouse or whatever the, the reason is that they're now the boss of the company, but they've never even fixed an air conditioner. They're more on the standpoint of running the company and they've got folks working for them that are turning the wrenches. You could be a salesperson. So if you're really good at connecting with people and you meet with homeowners or in the commercial field, you're meeting with clients as far as that goes, but you're in sales of some kind and you never have to turn a wrench. Maybe you work with a supplier, right? So maybe you're at the supply house or you're with one of the other products and you're just representing that company in some way, shape or form. Those folks don't turn a whole lot of wrenches. And then of course, there's also the folks that work for the manufacturers themselves. So with all that said, I don't think there's anything wrong with turning wrenches. I've had a few ladies that work with us that did it and were very good at it. If you're not afraid to get your hands dirty and do more blue collar work, the heavy lifting in a lot of cases can be remedied with all kinds of technology we have today. So, you know, where it used to be a big deal lifting a furnace up into an attic. Well, now they've got products that can do that for you, right? And then you just get it up in there and move it. Um, I can tell you that a lot of these men that think they're so strong, I mean, a lot of them, yeah, they are strong, but then their freaking back goes out every week, it seems like, because they don't take care of themselves. I'm probably included in that. So to just say that, oh, well, a woman can't lift as much as a man, that's not a very good argument in my opinion. I remember meeting a guy years ago and he was kind of arrogant and I remember him saying something, he was more on the plumbing side of things, but we were doing some work together and he was saying basically that there is no woman on the planet that could do what his guys can do. And I tried to, you know, basically tell him he was wrong and he wasn't budging either. But I remember sending a lady that worked with us and she worked with his crew for a few days and she changed his mind. Now her name was Diamond and Diamond was a one of a kind. She was very fit and very strong, but at the same time, I just think that ultimately in the grand scheme of things, if you have that kind of attitude, my position is you're just simply wrong, okay? Just to say that just because she can't lift as much as he can doesn't mean that he's superior to her in this industry. But I was reading an article when I was considering doing this video and they were basically talking about one of the biggest challenges for women in our industry is representation. A lot of women that if they get into the trade, they don't necessarily have another woman to look to or to be mentored by or anything like that. And because of that, there's been a lot of things that are being put into place. I know there's Facebook groups for ladies only that do heating and air. There's also some networks that are now built where ladies can receive support and also have other models or mentors that they can reach out to. So I think ultimately, if you're watching this video, I would say overall that there is a very good opportunity for ladies. In fact, if you're in my area and you're a lady and you're interested in getting into the industry, call me. I'll hire you. Again, as I said before, I think that ladies are way better employees than men anyway, for the most part. But the last thing I wanted to touch on with this is I do think that ladies do have some challenges that I remember some of the ladies that work for me. I didn't ever think about some of these challenges until they work for me. One of them is pretty simple and that is using the restroom. Uh, you know, I've got guys that work work for me that, you know, they can, you know, go number one behind a tree somewhere in some cases, and they have other things they'll do to overcome that challenge. But I just remember a few years ago, there was a bank in our area. Uh, the, a girl was working for us and she was working across the street from this bank. She just needed to use the restroom real quick. And she went in and the bank would not let her use the restroom. So I'm just throwing that out there. If you're doing kind of what we do, where you're going to different sites and, you know, there's not necessarily a place that you can go to to use the restroom. That's sometimes a challenge for them that I've never had to consider before. Obviously, men need a restroom if they got to go number two, <laughs> but I just think that th that's just something I've never considered before. And the other thing is, I, I know this has become a really big thing for realtors and real estate industry is having certain things in place for safety. You know, so if there's a gal that's out on her own, a lot of realtors I've heard stories where that you know they've been attacked and things like that and because of that 
they'll put safety measures in place where they're not meeting a client, a man, you know, by himself alone, unless she knows him or something like that. Or having some other fail safe, such as exercising your Second Amendment rights or having some other protection. Also letting folks know, hey, I'm going to meet this client. Here's who I'm meeting and here's where I'm meeting them at. Things like that. But I think ultimately, for the most part, when you're talking about the service industry like we are in, just keeping that in mind, that if you're putting someone in harm's way, man or woman, that they are taking measures to keep themselves safe. I hope that helps. If you are a lady that is looking to get in the industry, I'll put a few links down in the notes to a few different places you can look to. Maybe you can reach out to another lady in the industry, ask her a few questions and get her standpoint from it. But I just want to encourage you and let you know that I personally think that it is a good industry aside from other things that you could do really well at. Thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button. We'll see you next time.